Hello and welcome back to SMG. So today I'm travelling down to the New Forest to visit my lovely grandparents but due to Covid I'm visiting under the conditions that I camp in their garden. Now that's fine by me because it means I can do this review on a pretty interesting tent I've found. So the tent itself is the 8 man yurt by Ozark Trail. I purchased this for about £90 at Asda but I know you can pick them up elsewhere but they may be running for a bit more. So I'm just doing this to see how they match up to some of the more expensive tents out there. But let me stop talking and we'll get to setting this thing up. So the tent is finally up. I've waterproofed it, I've just got to sponge off the uh, the excess, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick look inside. Uh, always do up these fly sheets guys, because you leave it open for one second <laughs> and the flies will get in. All kinds of creepies. Right, so I'm inside now. I'm standing up uh, around the sides, my head's touching. But, um, Jesus, this is big. For 90 quid. I don't think you can go wrong. Just attaches into the sides here with these poles, which clip in. Um, it's got windows that you can zip up at night. It's about 19 degrees at the moment, but in here, it's not, it's not too bad. Oh, look! All right, Gramps, say hello to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> for <Brought> whiskey <laughs> so yeah you can see it's nice and spacious now when I turn this camera back on uh, I'll add some additions to in here and a few ideas I've had Is that good enough? Well, that was better than, better than the beds that we got. <laughs> All from that little power bank. You pillow. I will, yeah, I've got, well, I'm roughing it with a sleeping bag today. That's lovely. You're not sleeping in here tonight. <laughs> you snore. <laughs> I'll give a shout out, why not? Very, very good bed. We'll see tonight if it pops. <laughs> Depends what you're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tent pegs that come with this tent are obviously the cheap um, pegs, um, not very long. So if you're going to get it, I'd buy yourself some heavy duty, um, proper heavy gauge steel pegs. Just makes life easier in the long run. Chances. So the whole structure is held up with this pole. Uh, now inside, you couldn't see what I did. But in the corners there, 
let me just unzip this in the corners there are little poles that just slip into the pockets and uh, hold everything up now inside it comes with a little table in the middle which I thought was really cool um, that's where you can throw your junk um, when you're camping you've got pockets either side so over there and over there where the double bed is I will go into that double bed in a bit um, amazing really really good I know you're all gonna say I'm glamping but you know what? I don't really care it's comfy I've also put a fan in just to help but I am getting a nice breeze from these windows uh, and at night I think it will be quite nice to be honest I put a carpet down um, the floor seems durable but I wouldn't I wouldn't test it too much I think it's you know just your single skinned um, poly sheet that you get with all of these cheap tents um, the actual material itself isn't that bad um, once it's been waterproofed I wouldn't worry about it too much but just like my old tent which gave up the ghost um, I give this about a year two years at most um, before it starts to show some serious wear and tear I suggest waterproofing it because it also will protect it from UV light and stop it fading and getting all yellow and horrible um, this is the UK version of the tent it was uh, originally Walmart sold it in America and they sold like an orangey white thing which was horrible I'm really glad they put this in green um, really really works well let me sit down here oh I've added some lights and a fan which I will show you later working uh, and that all runs off my power bank which I'm not sure I've shown you yet I will do a little review on this but this power bank powers everything that I have in here it also can be hooked up to solar it's got a um, AC output there which is the main reason I bought it um, to pump up the bed um, remote control LED lights give you a little bit of light and the fan just kind of gets some air going in here because it can get a bit stuffy so yeah that's it guys I will let you know how it goes tonight if I freeze to death or if it gets too stuffy in here um, but yeah really good tent I'm impressed with it I'm not going to give it a rating yet because I don't know what it's going to be like but that's the tent if you're interested not too hard to put up took me about half an hour So, one night done in the Ozark, Ozark Trail 8-man yurt. I think this is a solid 8 out of 10. Purely because of how cheap it was, um, how easy it is to put up. If you've put up a tent before, you'll put this up easily. Um, and the usability, I mean, it is just huge. There's so much you can do with this. Um, obviously... For a budget tent you're going to have some downfalls which would be the waterproofing but once you've waterproofed it it was heavy rain last night and i didn't get a drop come in um, it did get a bit stuffy i'd say ventilation is probably an issue but that's going to be an issue with most tents most single skin tents um, the condensation levels were very low i think if you crammed more than four people in here it might get a bit stuffy but on your own or with someone else it's uh it's absolutely perfect so that's me done for today. Just thought I'd do a quick review before we get the prep and meat going. Um, this will be the tent I'm using, so you'll see it again and I will give you an update on how well it does the second time, which I'm sure will be fine. I think for the Ozark Trail 8-man tent, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Purely on price, 
usability and ease of putting it up so yeah impressed very impressed next time you'll see it will be at the prepper meet cheers guys